Hello, my name is Cher Pastore and I'm a registered dietitian and certified diabetes educator with CAP Nutrition LLC in New York City. In this clip, we're going to talk about how to calibrate a weighing scale. Weighing scales are important in terms of helping a person lose weight. It's the only way we have to monitor how much the person weighs. In addition, it could be important for other things in case you ever have to send a package, so it's very important that we know the accuracy of the scale that's being used. In this clip, we're going to use our digital scale right here. So the first step with this particular scale, of course, is that we're going to turn it on, and we're just going to get it set right up. We're just getting it set to zero, and once it's set at zero, this indicates that it's ready to be used. So step one in the process is to take an item that you know the exact amount of. You take this item, and you place it right on the scale, and wait till we see what it comes up as. So this particular thing is saying that it weighs 2.6 pounds. So we have to do this a maximum of three times to see if we get the same measurement, and then we will know that if it's calibrated accurately. So now it's saying 2.6. So if we have to take it off and let it zero out again, we have to do this exact process two more times. So if we place it on here, it says 2.6 again, which is great. And we're just going to do it one more time. And then we're going to know that this is calibrated accurately. So here's the last time. And it's 2.6 which is very good. So this scale is cal calibrated. In addition, you want to make sure that your scale is on a flat surface. You don't want it to be uneven. You don't want it to have be on a rug. You want it to be make sure that it's laying flat and zeroed out before you do any kind of measurement. Okay. So in the event that your scale doesn't zero out in the very beginning, you must look at your owner's manual and make sure to see how to zero it out. Further, if you get three different weights, you have to take the average of those three weights, and that will be your calibration number. Once again, this has been Cher Pastore from New York City.